Hey guys, good morning and welcome back again to your Unacademy Need English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time and this is your chemistry educator Wasim Bhatt on your Unacademy Need English channel. So my dear students, this particular session is for all the NEET 2025 aspirants. All the students who are seriously going to write the NEET examination in the year 2025. So all the students who are going to jump from class 11th to class 12th this particular session is for you number one number two all those students who are right now in class 12th and they are going to write the class 12th boards but they have already made their mind of taking a drop of one year and then they'll write the neat examination in 2025 this is for you as well right so all those class 11 to 12th moving students and all the students who are right now in 12th and have already made their mind of taking a drop this particular session is for every one of you okay and in this particular session i will be exactly letting you know how to strategize this complete one year right what all things you have to do what not to do what all books you have to consult how to complete a chapter all those things i'll be letting you know in this particular session which is absolutely going to be very short and precise right so dear students, before starting the session, I believe these are the different types of the questions which will be in your mind at this particular point of time. Number one, is one year enough to crack the NEET examination? Number two, if one year is enough to crack the examination, what has to be the strategy ahead, right? Now, how do we complete a particular chapter by means of which we get the confidence of that particular chapter? how many mock tests to solve right how much time to give for class 11th and class 12th syllabus completion i believe these are some some of the questions which every one of you whosoever is going to write the need in 2025 i believe all of you guys will be having these sort of questions in your mind at this particular point of time and one by one i'll be addressing all these things by means of which you will get the vision by means of which you'll get the track which you'll be following from today itself so that you can score really good in your NEET 2025 examination, right? My dear students, the first thing, if you are thinking, is one year enough to crack this particular examination? The answer is a big yes. One year is enough to crack this particular examination and let me tell you, one year is enough to become a topper as well, right? So there is no second thought in it. There is no second thought in it. One year is absolutely enough to crack this examination. And I, I told you one line, it is not only one year is enough to crack this examination, one year is also enough to become a topper in this particular examination, provided you are willing, you are willing to exert, providing you are willing to sit for eight to 10 hours a day throughout the year, right? Perfect. Now, my dear students, let's have a look on few pointers, which I would want to share with you one by one. Okay, I know. A lot of students watching me right now, they'll be in class 11th. They'll be about to write the class 11th boards examination, right? And a lot of students among you who are right now in class 12th, they are also about to write the boards examination, right? So, keeping this particular thing in mind, I have written the first statement over here. I have written the first statement over here. You will be starting, you will be starting your NEET 2025 journey after the completion of NEET 2024 examination. Why is that? Because I do not want you guys to get diverted from boards examination at this particular point of time. Whatever time is left for the boards, utilize that time for boards right now. Utilize these two, three months for boards properly. Get good score in boards for class 11th or class 12th so that it is going to be a booster for you, right? So that when you complete your boards examination, you at least become confident of starting the NEET 2025 journey, which is going to be for one complete year. So I would suggest you guys do not divert yourself right now. Okay, focus on boards for these one or two months, right? And once the NEET 2024 examination is over, then you are going to start your NEET 2025 one year journey. Okay, so you are going to start your preparation after the commencement of NEET 2024 examination, right? Now, my dear students, as I told you, no doubt you have got one complete year left for your preparation. But does that mean 
you will complete your whole syllabus in one year right the one year which is going to start the one year which is going to start after the need 2024 examination does it mean you are going to complete your syllabus in one year the answer is a big no my dear students one plan i'll be giving you one plan i'll be giving you and i would want you guys to follow this particular plan dear students keep one thing in mind your class 12 syllabus and class 11th syllabus both of them should be completed in four months each both of them should be completed in four months each four months you are going to give for class 12th syllabus completion and another four months you are going to give for class 11th completion right that means in eight months in eight months exactly you should be completing your whole syllabus of class 11th as as well as class 12th right after these eight months once you will be done with class 12th and class 11th syllabus three months will be particularly given for the revision right three months should be particularly given for the revision and how to do it that's something again which i'll let you know in some time now eight plus three is eleven there will be one month left and that one month should be only only and only dedicated to mock tests and again the revision right perfect this is going to be your strategy which you'll be following four months for class 11 syllabus completion four months for class 12 syllabus completion right three months for revision of 11th and 12th and last one month particularly for mock test and that fast revision okay now people now people try to understand if you talk about your class 12th syllabus almost 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 there are some 40 chapters right these 40 chapters you will have to complete in four months 40 chapters of class 12th almost you will have to complete in four months it looks a huge task but if you break this task it does not become huge it becomes easy what does that mean in four months you'll be completing 40 chapters in one month you should be completing 10 chapters and that means in one week you just have to complete 2.5 chapters right now it's easy in one complete week you only have to complete two and a half chapters it's not a big deal you can do it right it's very easy two and a half chapters in one week it's nothing guys provided you are willing provided you are willing to study for eight to ten hours a day right okay similarly same goes for class 11 syllabus completion as well i told you you have got four months for class 11 syllabus completion that means almost 40 chapters in four months so again in one week you just have to study 2.5 you have to complete 2.5 chapters that's not a big deal now you can do it so total eight months i am giving you for the syllabus completion of your class 11th as well as class 12th right and how to do the syllabus completion how to finish a chapter my dear students first of all before letting you know how to complete a chapter if you follow this particular sequence trust me trust me trust me you will be strong enough to become a topper in the need 2025 examination trust me on that Trust me on that, okay? Because I'm giving you in total eight months for the syllabus completion, out of which in one week, you just have to complete 2.5 chapters, right? Now you decide which 2.5 chapters you are going to do in week one, in week two, in week three. That is completely your choice. That's completely your choice. My suggestion will be follow the NCRT sequence. That will be only my suggestion. Whatever NCRT sequence is there, follow the chapters in the similar order. Because NCRT sequence is one of the finest sequence which you can see ever. Okay. Now, the main important point. How to complete a particular chapter. Because I have seen students completing a chapter and still they won't be getting that confidence. If a question is asked from that chapter, they'll be solving it. They'll be able to solve it. Right. There are a lot of students who are missing that particular confidence. Now, how to get that confidence? How to study a chapter? How to complete a chapter with 100% efficiency? For that, there's a sequence of things which you have to follow. And what is that sequence of things? My dear students, whatever chapter you have decided to complete, number one, you will have to complete its lecture. You will have to complete its lecture. And when you are watching the lecture, when you are watching the lecture, do the handwritten note making. Do not rely on the PDFs because you have got enough time left. You have got a lot of time left till your need 2025 examination. So one thing. First, watch the lecture. When you are watching the lecture, make the running notes, handwritten notes on your own. 
once you are done with the note making whatever questions your teacher has done in the lecture solve the same questions again without seeing the solution right solve the same questions again without seeing the solution so first lecture then note making then again do the same questions which your teacher has solved in the in the lecture right but this time you are going to solve those same questions without seeing the solution once you are done with these three things Definitely, you would have enrolled yourself in some offline or online coaching wherein you would have gotten the DPPs, right? Now it is the time to solve the DPP. Lecture, note making, solving the same questions again. Now comes the time of DPP solving. Only DPP solving. No need to consult any book. No need to consult any book at all, right? Whatever DPPs you have, whatever study material you have got from your online or offline, just solve them. Just solve them. And after the DPP solving, after the DPV solving, whatever topics you have covered in a lecture, just do the NCRT reading of that particular topic. And from NCRT, if you think there are some additional points which you are getting, just note down those additional points. While reading the NCRT, you might think you are getting some more important points, right? From the NCRT reading, just take down those points and write them in your notes. Once you are done with your NCRT reading, whatever NCRT in text and exercise questions are there from the topic which your teacher has covered in the lecture just complete them just complete them and once you are done with this particular process now it is the time of your PYQs but but PYQs you are not going to do till you complete the whole chapter right so once you are done with the completion of the whole chapter now it is the time to do at least at least five to ten year neat PYQs of that particular chapter and once you're done with this PYQ solving now you are fit enough to write the mock test of that particular chapter now you are fit enough to write the mock test of that particular chapter don't think don't think whatever questions will be there in the mock test of that particular chapter don't think you'll be able to solve all those no no there will be some questions which you'll be unable to solve that is something which I want you to understand like what types of questions you are still not able to solve. That means you are getting to know about your weaknesses, right? Whether calculations are weak, whether concepts are weak, right? And once you write the mock test, then accordingly, you have to act upon your weaknesses. Accordingly, you have to make your weaknesses strong. That is the main point. And my dear students, trust me, if you follow this particular process which I have given over here, your all the chapters will be first of all getting completed number one and at the same time they'll be completed with 100% efficiency automatically you'll get the confidence in you that whenever any type of question comes in the chapter comes from the chapter you will be able to solve that particular question if you follow this particular sequence and this sequence you are not supposed to follow only for a week only for a month no this thing you have to do for complete eight months till your whole syllabus gets complete right trust me it is the most beneficial thing this is the most beneficial sequence which i have seen st the students following and cracking the neat examination with a great 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 score that's something which i want you guys to do as well right one more thing please and please minimize your book list do not study a lot of books in a particular subject right i would i would suggest Avoid all the books. Just focus on your NC NCRT, your lectures, your DPPs, your PYQs, and at the end, chapter-wise mock test. That's more than sufficient. There is no need to study many books, right? There is no need to confuse yourself. Perfect. There'll be a lot of students who will be telling you. There'll be a lot of people who will be telling you, study this book, study that book. Do not do that. Avoid that. Just follow this particular sequence, right? And my dear students, not only you, you have to write the mock test, once you write the chapter wise mock test, then you have to analyze your mistakes, right? Mistakes can be anything, calculations, concept, time management, perfect, right? So once you get to know about them, about that, those weaknesses, then it's time to act upon them, right? Okay, so once you complete one mock test and get to know about weaknesses, try to write one more mock test of the same chapter, then see whether you're correcting yourself or not. If not, do write the one more mock test of the same chapter till you correct those mistakes, right? Till you correct your weaknesses, keep on writing the mock test of the same chapter. I'm telling you that. Okay, perfect. So people, if this is the sequence, these are the things which you'll be following, I'm pretty much sure, I'm pretty much sure easily, 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 you're going to score a lot, a lot, a lot means you're easily going to score 
650 plus 680 plus in your upcoming NEET 2025 exam, right? And the last month, that is something which I've only kept for mock tests, right? In the last month, in the last month, you are not going to study something new, no. In the last month, you'll be writing as many tests as possible because by writing the tests, you will get used to the exam atmosphere. You'll get used to the exam atmosphere by writing that mock test, right? You'll get used to the time management. You'll get familiar with the atmosphere of the examination. That is the most important thing which students miss while they are preparing for the NEET examination, right? And I would suggest in the last month, minimum, minimum two mock tests on a given day you have to complete. Two mock tests. That means in 30 days, you will be completing around 60 mock tests, right? Some of them will be full length, some of them will be a part syllabus mock test. That's completely your, completely your feasibility, right? And my dear students, as I told you, 60 mock tests in total, right? Which you have to complete. And if you follow this whole process throughout this particular journey, I am giving you this in writing that you will easily score 680 plus in the upcoming NEET 2025 examination. Provided you follow all these things with 100% honesty, with 100% sincerity, right? You have that focused mind, right? You are 100% dedicated. There are, there are, there is no, there is no time for distractions. Perfect. You are always imagining yourself in the white coat. Perfect. You are always thinking about your dream college. If all these things are in your head from this particular point of time itself, it is my guarantee. I am telling you that you can score really, really, really high in your upcoming NEET. 2025 examination, right? Perfect. So this was the video which I thought is a need of R to be made for all the need 2025 aspirants. And stay tuned for further more videos, right? Related to need 2025, and you'll get you'll be getting the updates about those videos which are going to come for need 2025 in these two Telegram channels. And if you have not subscribed to them, you can subscribe to these Telegram channels and do subscribe to your Unacademy Need English channel as well. So with this, I'll be taking a leave. It was nice meeting you. Take care. God bless you all and love you all, my dear students. Bye-bye.